I would suggest that Race to the Top has not yet done anything for students, that that is still to come. Uh, I have, of course, my greatest hope is that it improves the quality of the teaching workforce, both the teachers that are there now and who is attracted in the future. I think that uh, the biggest problem, the biggest hurdle for states as they go forward, those states that have won, is to um, get past the notion where they've won a lot of money um, and to realize that this is about serious reform. This was meant to be an incentive. Um, so they have a four-year budget to implement what they promised to implement in their application, but that that what are they going to do in year five, year six, year seven? It's, that remains to be seen how they're going to suddenly absorb what they've committed to doing. For those states that didn't win Race to the Top money, I think we're already seeing wonderful signs um, of progress. Um, regardless of whether they won, they, uh, there are a number of states, six, seven, eight, nine, I'd say about nine states, that have gone ahead and put in legislation that exceeds what, uh, what those states that did win Race to the Top in many instances. So uh, I think we have every reason to believe that Race to the Top came about at the right time uh, and that st other states are seeing what's going on and they're quite willing to buy into that reform agenda.